Okay, so this is the second part of the video. I didn't want to put them all up at once, so I wanted to give you time to practice. All right, so this part is a story part. And it's important. If you've been practicing on your uh, manifestation and creation, I am so proud of you. So very, very proud of you. So let me tell you a quick story. All right. So the first story is about Nelson and I. If you have seen our video on the knee of healing the swollen knee with that big egg thing that was on my knee. Well, there was a lot of intense. There was a lot of manifestation in there. And there was a lot of love. And I'll explain that <coughs> after I cough. <coughs> When Nelson wanted to help me, he used his intention, his love, and his belief that the herbs that he studies would be put on my leg and would work and would help my knee. Okay, so that was sent with the, he knew that if he believed the intent, <coughs> oh, sorry, uh, tickle there, if he gave the intent, if he believed in his herbs, and the result would be that my knee would be fine. That's the formula, okay? What we didn't show on that video is my job in that. For me, I have to give permission. I have to give permission to allow myself to heal. That's one. No one can heal you. Nobody. I could work on you for hours if you don't want to be healed through Reiki or whatever. You are not going to be healed. You have to give permission. You have to say, yes, I want to be healed. That sounds very silly. <laughs> big component of it though. So my job was that I said, yes, I would like to be healed. The second thing that I do is I believe in quantum physics. I believe with all my heart that I can go back. All right, everybody, here it goes. You're like, oh, oh. I can go back into time and tell my body to replicate to that time when my knee was okay and to keep it at that time, discarding the time that my knee was swollen. Oh, I know that's a really big thing for you, but it's the truth and it does happen. I've done it many times. So in my mind, I go back and I tell my knee, this is not acceptable. I'm not going to have this big egg on my leg. Uh, also, I don't even think about going to the doctor. I don't even put that thought in my head. It doesn't even come up. If it does, if I'm thinking about, I have to go get it uh, looked at, a uh, CAT scan, I got to get it drained, I've already taking it from here to a level here. That's not going to happen. So I keep it here. I keep it really, really low, meaning I don't escalate it. It stays here. I'm going to fix it. I'm not going to the doctor and this knee is going to be healed. And I believe that. I absolutely believe it. Now, because I also know that, understand that allopathic medicine is helpful at times, um, I gave myself two weeks. So I told Nelson after the holidays and after all the running around, two weeks, if the knee is not okay, then I would consent to going to the doctor and have it looked at. Until then, kept it low, did not escalate it, kept it low. And you saw that my knee was healed, that big egg thing was healed. That's just one example. So when you manifest, you can erase something also. You could, something that's obviously on my leg, prominently on my leg, I could say no to. So in my mind, I erase it. It does not exist. I don't know what you're talking about. My leg is fine. And Nelson, with his intent, with his, with his belief, and with his love, he sets it to. So who's worked? It really doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter because all, it all works as a great formula. I don't have the lump. I don't, it's totally gone. My knee is fine and I didn't go to the doctor. These are true. This is a really true story. Um, second story, I'll tell you quickly because this is an amazing story. Um, this is one of my favorites. My daughter was not feeling well and she had a really bad pain on, on her back, in her spine. It had been a horrific three months with my, other, with my son. Uh, a story that maybe I'll tell another time. And we needed to take her to the doctor. She was in a lot of pain. We go to the doctor, they say uh, that she has a cyst on her lower back and that she probably needs to be operated on and I need to take her to an MRI and it's very serious. Okay, I just can't be in a doctor anymore. I've been in the doctors in the hospital for two and a half months with my son. I was exactly done with the hospitals. I was completely <laughs> exasperated. Um, and I told my daughter, 
no, you will not have to go to the doctor. We're going to take care of this. And um, the, the doctor gave us the MRI, and I said, I will take you to the MRI. That was on a Monday, and we had left the doctor's office on a Tuesday. So basically, we had less than a week to work on this. So I said to my daughter, you're going to let me work on you with Reiki. And I had two other people also helping me, my friend Artie, and uh, who was actually a priest and does amazing healing, and another person who was a Reiki a master. And so my daughter said, but Ma, it'd be great if I go, you know, if I have this uh, operation, you know, I'll, I'll have a scar and I can get a tattoo. And I'm like, stop. Absolutely stop that. I don't even want you thinking that. So what we did is I said, I will let you get a tattoo. I don't even care where you get it. You don't even have to get it on this scar. But you will go into that healing room and you will give permission to be healed. And she made me promise. And I said, okay, we would. We worked on her for about 20 minutes. The room got so hot. I mean, I could not believe the heat that emanated from the three of us. Once my daughter got up, I said, how do you feel? She's like, I'm good. And my friend Audie said, oh, she's fine. She's like, he goes, you know, he communes with the other side like me. And so he saw his counsel, so to speak. And he said, she, you know, she's fine. I said, okay. During the course of the week, uh, she took a homeopathy thing called Thuja, which clears you out. And we continued the focus. We continued the focus, but we didn't worry. We didn't accelerate it. We didn't exasperate it. We didn't, we didn't do anything but this. It was done. We believed it was done. Monday, we went for the MRI, as promised, because as a mom, I have to make sure I go for the MRI. Boom, boom. Don't even worry about it. We don't talk about it. Tuesday comes around. Uh, they, they wasn't ready. Say Wednesday, no results. Thursday I call, they're like, uh, we don't have the results. By Friday, as I'm a human and I'm a mom, I kind of want to know what's going on because it's, you know, I'm not getting anything. So I kept saying, no news is good news. But by Friday, I needed to know. Friday, I called them. It's the afternoon. I was in my office. I remember completely. I remember them saying, oh, hold on a second. Taking a really long time. And uh, had me on hold for maybe what seemed like eternity and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and they, they get on the phone, they get the doc, blah, blah, blah. And they say, uh, there's no cyst. We can't, we can't find a cyst. I didn't even let them finish. I was like, are you sure? And they said, yes. <laughs> I was like, goodbye. I, there's no words for that. There is no words for the joy in my heart. There was no cyst. It was gone. And it's because we had the intent, we had the belief, we had the love, and we kept it down. We didn't escalate it, kept it down. I didn't go home and read everything about the cyst and, and go crazy and, and, and have fear. Kept it down. Now, did my daughter get a tattoo? Uh, she chickened out. Uh, she did. She got a little Monroe uh, piercing on her lip, which later on she got a tattoo, and it's all good. So, uh, But yes, I kept my bargain, and I took her, and she says, I'd rather get a, a piercing. And she deserved that. She deserved it, and she kept her word, and I kept my word. And through manifestation, no cyst. So those are two stories. I hope you like them, and uh, that's it. I'm going to sign out. Much love. Keep practicing. If you have any questions, don't just give me, you know, just give me a PM message, and I'd be happy, more than happy, to answer you and to help you along if you're struggling with something. Okay? Bye-bye from Sacred Ways, Lisa's Attic.